I recently saw a somewhat disturbing vision and I want to share that with you right now. So this is what I saw. I saw this image of a pit and while I was seeing this while I was spending time with the Lord and this vision just came so vivid into my mind. And I saw this giant hole in the ground and I could see as like crowds of people were gathering around it. And it was just a deep, dark pit in the ground. And then people began to press in around this thing. And some of them even began to lay down and then reach their, their hands like down into the darkness as if to try to get something out of the darkness. But then they would reach too far and I saw as people began to fall in. And then immediately after that, I saw this vision of a graveyard that was foggy, but it was old and the, the graves were like broken down and they were like disfigured. And then as I was seeing this imagery, suddenly I heard the Lord say this. And there are some people listening to me that you need to hear this right now. I heard the Lord say, you only get one chance and this life is it. And then I heard him say this, don't put it off. If you don't know Jesus, now is the time. And then he said, right now, this moment. And as soon as I heard that, suddenly I saw another vision. And what I was seeing was this stairway leading up to heaven. And it was representing our access to God, the ability to come to God and to be with him for eternity. And I'm seeing this stairway. And as I'm looking at it, suddenly I see this wall begin to rise up out of the stairway at a certain point, And no, you couldn't go past it. You couldn't go any higher once you hit the wall. And this is what I heard the Lord say. I heard him say, what's stopping you from coming to Jesus? It's not worth it. And then he said, it never will satisfy the way it promises to satisfy. See, the world is going to try to grab you with so many different things and promise satisfaction and say, well, this is going to be it. That's going to be it. Whether it's, whether it's money, whether it's sex, whether it's a relationship, whether it's status, whether it's fame, whether it's just happiness itself or that fairy tale ending to your story. None of those things will ever satisfy. And then I heard the Lord say, only I can satisfy you. Only he can satisfy you and me. And then I heard him say, I'm the only one who can do it. And deep down, you know it's true. I've placed knowledge of myself within you at your very core. See, and I believe this is true. I believe because we were created by God, a divine being, who knows all things, sees all things, is all powerful. He placed the knowledge of himself inside of us. We know where we came from, ultimately. There are just times where we're not willing to admit it. But I just sense the hand of the Lord reaching out today. I don't know why you clicked on this video. Maybe somebody sent it to you. But I sense the power of God reaching out right now. Listen, you don't have to move forward with that big question mark over your head any longer of where do I go after I die or what is this life all about? You can get those questions answered today. And the answer to the question is God created you and he wants to spend eternity with you. He designed you. He knows why you were created. He has a purpose for you, a reason for you being here. And he loves you. And I just sense the power of God reaching out to people right now. If you are willing to accept it, you're willing to open your heart up to Jesus right now today and say, Lord, I need you to come in and to save me. I need you to change my heart, to change my life. He will absolutely do it. I sense the, the power of God right now moving on people's hearts. If he's reaching out to you, don't struggle against it. Don't fight it. Just say yes. Come in, the Lord is saying, come in. Don't, don't push back. I hear the Lord saying, you've been pushing for far too long and I've seen your hurting heart and I've sensed the struggle within you. And the Lord is saying, don't struggle any longer. Just come home. Just come on in. As I was waiting on the Lord that night, the next thing I heard the Lord say is, you know it's me. That sense in your heart right now, that's not just adrenaline. That's the Holy Spirit. 
reaching out to you. And the Lord is saying, you know it's me. What you truly long for can only be found in knowing me as Lord and Savior and friend. That's from the perspective of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit is confirming this to people's hearts right now. He's saying, don't run away any longer. Now is the time, right now, this moment. This is real, and I can promise you that it's real. This changed my life drastically, completely, overnight. I was going one direction, and in one day, the Lord completely shifted everything. He changed my heart. He changed my outlook. He changed my hope. He gave me hope that I never had before. He gave me life that I wasn't experiencing. He gave me joy that was unspeakable overflowing. He gave me this love. He put his love into my heart. And I I had never understood that before. It was so great and it's so good. And I can't help but tell people about it. And I hear the Holy Spirit saying, I want that same thing for you. If you need that, if you have not experienced that, he's saying, I want the same thing for you. And I have it for you right now. It's in my hand. Just reach out and take it. How do you do that? How do you accept that that gift, that love. This is Philippians 2, 8. It says, And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, death on a cross. This is Jesus Christ. He came to the earth as a man, even though he was the Son of God, and he died on a cross. And when he died, he took the punishment for all of our sins upon himself. So if the punishment's been taken, that means you don't have to take the punishment. It's already been taken. But the only way we get to receive that free gift is when we say yes to him and we choose to turn our life over to him. And we say, Jesus, come in and save me. I can't save myself. I can't fix myself. I need you today. And the Lord is saying, I am right here and I'm willing to do it. It doesn't matter how dark your past has been. He's willing to do it right now. I'm going to pray right now and I want you to pray with me if this is what you need today. I want you to pray and I want you to say, Jesus, I am yours today. I choose to belong to you now. Make my life new. Come in and make me new. Cleanse me. Wash me. Purify me. Change me. I want you to pray this. Say, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. And you came to the earth as a man. And you lived a perfect life And then you died on a cross and you took the punishment for all of my sins upon yourself. And then you rose again and you are with the Father in heaven right now. And now because I believe in you, I get to be with you as well. And I want you to ask for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit right now. Just say, Father, pour your Holy Spirit out upon me. The Holy Spirit is God, and He is God with us. He he is the promise that Jesus promised before He left the earth. He said that after He left, He would send the Holy Spirit, and He's right here right now. He wants to fill you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. He wants to fill your thoughts. He wants to change your motivations. He wants to fill your heart. He wants to be involved in every aspect of your life, and He wants to speak to you. He wants to lead you. I want you to ask, say, Holy Spirit, fill me right now. Fill me with your presence. Fill me with your glory. Fill me with your fire. Speak to me, Holy Spirit. Change me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. If you prayed with me today, please let me know in the comments. That would mean a lot to me and give me a chance to pray for you and celebrate with you. But I would encourage you, those watching this video, if you know someone that needs this, I would encourage you to share this video with them or or at least share it publicly so that other people get a chance to hear this message. But also, if you prayed with me today or if you've just never been baptized, you know you know Jesus, you've met him, and you're walking with the Lord, but you haven't taken that step, I would encourage you to find a local church where you can get baptized. Baptism is not a requirement for salvation. The Word of God is very clear about that. Yet at the same time, it is a step of obedience that God asks us to take after we get saved. So if you've been saved, then I believe the Holy Spirit is going to put a burden on your heart to want to get baptized. And listen, it's a good thing. If, If God would not have asked us to do it if it wasn't good for us, 
it, it's a good thing and it's going to help you. And it's going to be a really amazing opportunity for you to publicly declare your love for Jesus and, that, and to publicly declare that you are following him and that he is your Lord. So I love y'all. I hope this has been an encouraging message. I'll see you next time.